Early morning wake-up calls, hectic work schedules, and an endless list of hassles make stress a normal part of our daily lives. But when circumstances become too overwhelming, stress can have negative health consequences, slowly weakening the immune system, accelerating aging, and shrinking brain cells responsible for memory and concentration. Stress is often referred to as the silent killer. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention estimates that 75% of all doctor visits are due to stress-related symptoms. Stress activates the sympathetic nervous system, the body's fight-or-flight response, which has served as a life-preserving mechanism for thousands of years. When the sympathetic nervous system is activated, the heart rate accelerates, pupils dilate, digestion slows, and the liver releases blood sugar, known as glucose, to help the body quickly respond to danger. The HPA axis, or hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, is another component of the stress response system and works in tandem with the sympathetic nervous system. The HPA axis coordinates the stress response. When the brain senses a stressor, the portion of the brain known as the hypothalamus activates, which then triggers the release of corticotrophin releasing factor. This triggers the pituitary gland to release adrenocorticotropic hormone also referred to as ACTH. ACTH travels through the bloodstream to the adrenal glands, which are located on top of each kidney. The adrenal glands then release the stress hormone cortisol and epinephrine, also known as adrenaline, which causes increased heart rate, rapid breathing, and a state of hyper-alertness. The body has several natural mechanisms for fighting stress. DHEA, a hormone produced by the adrenal glands, plays a major role in counteracting the harmful effects of excessive cortisol. In addition, calming brain chemicals such as serotonin and GABA are released from nerve cells in the brain following a stressful event in order to promote a positive mood and relaxation. Occasional activation of the HPA axis and secretion of cortisol and epinephrine does not harm the body. However, chronic stress continuously activates the HPA axis resulting in excessive cortisol, serotonin, and GABA secretion. If left unchecked, long-term stress can lead to a depletion of cortisol, DHEA, and neurotransmitter levels, wreaking havoc on the mind and body. In today's society, a stressful and busy lifestyle has become the norm. Chronic stressors like traffic jams, work overload, financial difficulties, or family problems may cause pent-up frustration, anger, and anxiety which can activate the hypothalamus. In addition to mental and emotional stress, three additional factors can activate the HPA axis. Blood sugar imbalances, insomnia, and inflammation. These are underlying stressors that activate the HPA axis to release cortisol in an attempt to restore balance to the body. Hans Salie, one of the pioneers of the modern study of stress and the HPA axis, identified the three stages of HPA axis dysfunction known as the General Adaptation Syndrome. In Stage 1, the Alarm Stage, an individual experiences high levels of stress and excessive levels of cortisol are released from the adrenal glands. Symptoms include feeling restless, irritated, or wired. Other symptoms in Stage 1 include weakened immune response, anxiety, sleep issues, weight gain, or blood sugar fluctuations. Stage 2, the Resistance Stage, is associated with years of mild to moderate stress without adequate periods of relaxation and recuperation. Hormone and blood sugar imbalances, weakened immune response, fatigue, or sleep difficulties often present in this stage. It is often in stage two when people recognize that their health or quality of life is being affected and may call their doctor. Others may ignore symptoms until they reach stage three, the exhaustion stage. Classic signs of stage 3 include mental and physical exhaustion, insomnia, inflammatory conditions, chronic back pain, or inflammatory bowel disease, weakened immunity, and chronic pain conditions such as fibromyalgia. Depression and even panic attacks can also occur in the exhaustion stage due to depleted neurotransmitter levels following years of chronic stress. Individuals in the exhaustion stage may find even the simplest tasks difficult to complete. Cortisol and DHEA levels can be measured from saliva, urine, or blood samples. 
testing cortisol and DHEA levels can be a valuable tool for determining if your body's HPA axis is functioning properly, as well as pinpointing the specific stage of imbalance. The ARC Stress Recovery Program recognizes stress as a key factor that, if left unchecked, can negatively impact health. The ARC program is specifically designed to help people recover from stress by identifying and treating each stage of HPA axis dysfunction with targeted natural protocols, as well as specific nutritional and lifestyle therapies to address each of the four key stressors. If stress is affecting your life, ask your healthcare provider about the ARC Stress Recovery Program to acquire the tools that you need to reduce your stress load and take back control of your health.